I guess it's high time and it's more than past the time to actually feel some financial pain and I'm very happy that both AMD and Nvidia are actually feeling the brunt of what they have been doing ever since the pandemic with the extreme price gouging they have been giving us with all of their brand new GPUs. So let's get to see now the financial announcement for the first quarter of the fiscal year 2024 for Nvidia. Uh, that makes me really happy. Of course, they have been earning quite a decent buck because, well, you know, the GPU market isn't exactly their number one market that boosts the sales or makes, uh, you know, the investor investors happy. But let's see the highlights here. First of all, of course, NVIDIA do brag about their data center business because this is a record revenue for them of $4.28 billion, which is 14% up from a year ago and 18% up from the previous quarter. Yada, 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 of course. Now... Let's come to gaming. First quarter revenue was $2.24 billion, so don't get your high hopes that they're actually losing money. No, they're actually making a lot less money, but of course they're still making money. Uh, which is down 38% from a year ago and up 22% from the previous quarter. So it's a mixed bag here with NVIDIA, even though their prices are watery high still. Yeah, um, they are still down 38% from a year ago, which is something. I mean, there should be some red flags going up in there at NVIDIA quarters. Uh, hey, what's going on? Why are people buying our GPUs? Well, maybe they're too damn expensive for us to buy them. Isn't that a brand new novel idea for you, NVIDIA, and all of you marketing guys out there? But anyway, uh, they are trying to counter this by announcing the 4060 family uh, GPUs, bringing advancements of NVIDIA Ada Lovelands architecture and DLSS starting at 299 so they're probably trying to get their foot in the door and squeeze more money out of us. Or at least not squeeze from the top, but squeeze from the very bottom. If that makes sense to you guys, it kind of makes sense for NVIDIA, apparently. Um, they launched the 4070 GPUs based, of course, on the ADA architecture, which enables DLSS3 real-time ray tracing and the ability of running over 100 frames per second at 1440p resolution. Now, of course, 36 DLSS game titles that's been added and another, what, 300 apps or so made patch tracing available for the first time on a major gaming title throughout collaboration with CD Projekt Red. This was, of course, an update to Cyberpunk 2077 and expanded the GeForce Now games title to more than 1,600 titles, including the first Microsoft Xbox game, Gears 5. Right, so this is what's happening in the gaming sector with NVIDIA right now, and I hope that by the next quarter, this figure will go up and this profit figure will go down. But hey, I guess time will tell, right? Anyway, we'll get to compare some of the 4090s um, pricing right now with the MSRP. And of course, moving over to the supercars and see what's happening with the price because I don't get to see any goodies just yet. Uh, the prices still are going up, unfortunately. And I do hope that this is not going to be a trend moving forward. So that's what's happening over at NVIDIA's or the green corner. Let's check out now AMD's first quarter for 2024. Uh, yeah, Mambo Jumbo here from the CFO, Lisa Su, whatever, whatever. They are still making a lot of money. Let's just go over at the segment summary right here. Okay, record data center segment revenue. So basically, just as NVIDIA, the brunt of the profits is not coming from the GPU market. It's coming from other places like, uh, you know, record data center segment. And of course, NVIDIA has right here its data center business as well. So they're both moving in the same direction, having the brunt of the profit made from the data center business and let's just hop on over here client segment revenue okay this is the amd 8000 series processors which uh, it's up 85 percent uh year over year but uh, overall the revenue has decreased by six percent so that's something and now moving into the old interesting gaming segment revenue right here was 200 i should say 922 million which is down 48 percent so they've lost half of the business from one year ago so it's down 48 percent year over year that's absolutely terrible this is if i was investing in amd and this was the prancing pony of amd i would definitely pull my money from that and definitely some huge red flags must be going off into some uh, well potential investors behind amd because this is a sector that's definitely dying out very very quick especially with the metric that we have right now for this quarter anyway. But yeah, down 48% year over year and 33% sequentially due to a decrease in semiconductor revenue and lower AMD Radeon GPU sales. So they are losing because people are not buying GPUs from them anymore. And well, they just throw in the punch in there with the semi-custom uh, revenue being lower than expected. 
but that's 50 percent of year-over-year -year revenue that's been lost in this segment which is a huge deal and 33 percent sequentially that's that's abysmal that's abysmal this is a huge red flag for amd i mean nvidia was faring and is still faring far better than amd they're still making money of course but definitely losing half your business in a year in one of the segments that's catastrophic in my opinion hey i guess uh, that makes me a happy camper because we should see something moving price wise in a positive direction for us the consumers uh, like you see in the car market right now with ford laying off and slants laying off people uh, they have to do something from a manufacturing standpoint in order to boost the sales and that means of course lowering prices so this makes me happy in the sense that i would like to see lower prices for gpus moving forward at least for a little while before they are trying to recap some of this market and of course trying to see what's happening it's amd or i should say it's amd losing to nvidia is nvidia selling more gpus it looks like it at the moment anyway I definitely know that the super graphics cards are faring better than the latest offering from AMD, but you know, I'm all here. So uh, whatever you guys think, leave me down a comment in the box below. Let's go over through it and see what's happening behind the scenes. All right, moving over to Newegg. First of all, let's get some sense into what's happening here for everybody that's not up to par or up to date with the pricing. So the 4090 performance, was launched at $1,600 US. I'm looking at the 4090 because, well, basically I was expecting that the higher tier GPUs are going to be the first ones to be dropping off in sales because of that high price. But let's get to see if this really stands out in the real world. So $1,600 USD, this is the price to beat right now. And moving over to Newegg, we have some very nasty surprises here. Uh, starting off with this Asus RG 4090 at two thousand dollars my god guys my god uh this is stuff gaming geforce 4090 oc edition 1800 bucks my god uh 4090 more than 2000 jesus 4090 1800 bucks 1800 bucks 1800 bucks my god so this doesn't seem to be moving in the correct direction at all and I don't think that Nvidia really cares about what's happening with its uh I should say gaming sector right here because they are still keeping high prices and apparently of course the um, partner or AIB partners are going to put some money on top of that and of course the sellers are, the sellers are going to put some pressure on top of that and that's why you're getting to prices like more than $2000 even though the MSRP was of $1600 and that's something all right let's move over to the 4080 supers let's see how the 4080 supers are uh, faring 4080 super Let's see here, 4080 Super, MSRP, I should say, MSRP, All right, there we go. 4080 Super, 999, let's see how prices are on Newegg right now. So, uh, gaming, 4080 Super, a thousand bucks. Uh, this is uh, this is amazing. $1,100, uh, $1,100, so $1,100, no, okay, 999, there we go, we have a PNY GTX 4080 Super at the same MSRP price uh, with some $10 off promo. Anyway, oh my God. I was really hoping the prices are going to drop. But there's, yeah, it doesn't seem to make any uh, sort of sense right now because the prices are actually quite going up and up and up. So they continue to grow. 1100, 1200, 1500. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 10,000. Oh, sorry, uh, 1000 there. Yeah, so it's absolutely abysmal what's happening right now. Let's see with a 4070 Super, 4070 Super, 4070 Super MSRP. There we go. So 599, let's see what's happening here. 4070 Ti Super, okay. Super, 4070 Super, 599. Okay, same one, lowest price there. Uh, 4070 Super, 599, 4070 Super, pff, OC edition anyway. Uh, it's more, uh, this is more. More, 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 more. Ah, okay, so 599, there we go for a triple fan design here from Gigabyte. So the prices don't seem to be moving in the right direction at all. Not with Nvidia, not at the moment. Anyway, um, yeah, so let's see. Let's check out some 4070 Ti Super. Maybe something's happening there. Right, 4070 Ti Super, Trinity OC edition. Let's see here, Ti Super. 799 okay 799 is the price to beat no not you not you 799 okay zotac 4070 super so this is actually at msrp 
47 GTI Super. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right. Yeah. So this is something right now. Right, so let's move over to the 7000 series AMD lineups of GPUs and uh, let's see how are the prices here. Uh, so the 7900 XT has a, well, had an MSRP of 899 So uh, the price was cut down $100. Let's see how the market looks with the 7900 XT. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I said it was 899 Okay, so there we go, 690 that's cool. That's below uh, the MSRP. Uh, once again, eight ninety nine. Okay, this is below. This is below. This is a computer. Below. Below. All right. So I'm guessing that this is actually a deal at the moment. Yep, seven ninety nine compared to the eight ninety nine. That's something. This is refurbished. Makes no sense. Sapphire Nitro. No. This is above. Open box. Refurbished. This is new much more expensive sapphire radian yeah so this is uh, yeah it should be 899 or i should say anyway that's the benchmark there this is out of stock out of stock out of stock out of stock so these are all out of stock right here so apparently new x sells the 7900 xt uh not the um, og edition i should say but definitely everything that you can be uh or i should say everything that you can find online especially on new egg right now i'm not affiliate though uh it can be found below msrp which is you know a good sign showing us that actually a direction or a positive direction might be coming or continuing in the future with better deals for us as end consumers, which is uh, fairly nice to see. All right, what about the uh, 7800 XT? Let's see, 7800 XT, this is 499, 7800 XT, let's see if we can beat the $500 uh, mark up there, or I should say MSRP. This is above, but just slightly, this is above just slightly, this is almost at the same MSRP level. This is slightly below, but not that much. Anyway, you do get it below. Uh, this is slightly above. This is on par. So yeah, there we go. You get a deal here. Um, what is this Newegg deal? Because this is MSRP pricing. So you actually do get a deal right here on Newegg because you get the Sapphire Nitro, the RX 7800 XT at 490. Well, compared to the 599, or I should say 499, sorry, that's $500 you are actually getting a deal on Newegg right now on an OG edition of the 7800 XT. So guys, this is the state of the market right now. This is what both AMD. So this is the state of the market right now, guys. This is what both Nvidia. So this is the state of the market right now. This is what basically is happening with Nvidia and AMD behind the scenes with their financial uh, reports. And it doesn't really look good. It's not bad, not terrible for Nvidia, although it is going down. But it is definitely a catastrophic move forward for AMD losing half his business in just one year. As always, guys, if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button. Leave your comments down below. Let's get over what's happening here. And stay tuned and see you guys in the next one. Peace out.